Uh, hi, I'm Cholsen Austria. I'm from Philippines and I'm working here in Korea. I have this book, The Richest Caveman. I gave this to one of my friends. Uh, I want to tell you about uh, the book Richest Caveman because uh, last December 2017, I went in the Philippines for vacations and then I have this book. I think it's five books to give away to, to people over there. And then one of my friends who happened to be atheist, uh, I gave this book. But uh, later on, he told me about that. The reason why he accepted the book is because he just don't want to reject me. And he think to himself that, okay, I will just accept the book, but I will never read it. But one day, it seems like the book is inviting him to read it. And then when he read about the chapter one, he think to himself that, oh, this book is really interesting. And then almost every day, he read about the book and then he finds out about the goodness of God and the loving God, how God is uh, for, forgiven the sin of mankind, especially the testimony of Dog Bachelor. And when he was about to finish, the last paragraph said that, This is why I told Micah that God has called me to preach the gospel. I feel driven to tell the world about a God who loves us that much. It is my prayer that those who read the testimony in this book will learn from my experience that happiness does not come from the abundance of things. I learned the hard way that the happiness the world offers is not real. It's the big lie. But the joy of serving God and ministering to my fellow man is genuine and it leaves no hangover. I know because I tried it all. Of course, be, uh, all people want to be happy. That's the reason why they find happiness to, to uh, worldly things like drinking alcohol, smoking weeds, smoking tobacco. The thing about it is, it, it is a temporary happiness and it's, it's not really that happiness because after that, you will feel the hangover and later on you will develop every kinds of cancer and things like that. But the Word of God, it is a genuine and God loves us so much. This book is really a wonderful thing and powerful because this book is um, all about God's love and how people like Dog Bachelor, when he finds God, his life became a living testimony to, to, to us, to people. One thing I, I realized about Dog Bachelor is like, all he needs is the sweetness of fruit, but when he didn't find the sweetness of fruit, he find the sweetness to other things like candy, chocolate, ice cream, cake, and all that stuff. Yes, that is sweet, but after you ate all of those, chances are you will develop uh, a disease. But the sweetness of fruit, it will leave you no disease. And the sweetness of fruit is the love of God. And the sweetness of candy and all that stuff is just like the world. So all we need to, to have is the sweetness of fruit, which is God's love. And that's one thing that Dog Budget Bachelor realized about, about God's love. He tried many things, how to find happiness, but all that things failed him because that happiness is came from the world and the happiness that came from the world is a big lie. It's just a temporary happiness, but after that you will feel empty again. But God's love, it leaves no hangover and that God's love, it will lead you to endless ha happiness and that's all, that's all what people need to learn and that's what all people need to have, God's love. So. Yeah, the richest caveman book is all about God's love and all about forgiveness. So, no matter how many sin you committed, just think that God is willing to forgive us and God is willing to love us no matter what, because He loves us unconditionally.